Facebook friends, we are live again, and I'm here with Mr. Garcia. So we just wanted to say hello again as the place starts to fill up. Wow, I'm just so so surprised to see so many people here involved with this, to see what a large effort this has come, and that we finally realized after a lot of years of doing this that this uh, struck by injuries are the largest cause of death and accidental injury to public safety of all kinds, police, fire, EMS, towing, roadside workers. This is what's killing us out there. And it took quite a bit for people to say, hey, you know, we, we need to address this. And so through through the move over law, through public service announcement and some awareness, but mostly through our training. I mean, we people understand that's part of it, but we also have our own responsibility for, for how we stage, how we set up. 25 years ago, nobody ever heard of traffic incident management, but through Responder Safety Institute, Jack Sullivan, Steve Austin, uh, we have these traffic incident management courses that we will bring to you. We will come to where you are, take your people and train them on how to set up your units, how to set up your trucks in ways that will help prevent injuries. We can't stop every drunk and distracted driver. You know, people that are smart, people that know the laws, people that pay sense, you know, they're gonna slow down and move over because it's common sense. Mm -hmm those aren't the problem it's the people that don't and the only thing that we can do is find ways to protect ourselves so through visibility through staging how we place our units how we clear that area to ensure that people move around attenuators 25 years ago we never heard of an attenuator what's that for those that don't know that's a truck with a big spongy thing on the back so if you hit something it absorbs the impact and doesn't crash into the responders all these things are new and it's what we can do as an industry to protect ourselves on the scene so i mean and that's just as vital and that's just as important and that's where emergency responder safety institute has really stepped up for industry to help us protect ourselves in these situations so james you know one of the things that we were just talking about off camera is that you had a hard time getting people to believe you that this was an issue yes um, again, I wrote it in 94, passed in 96, and from 96 to 2002, I went to every state, I called every state, EMS directors, public safety, police, and said, believe me, this is, this is happening. And across the board, it was all, that's a sad story, but that could never happen here. You know, things like that won't happen here. Nobody gets hit here. And until we had some ser serious, significant incidents, uh, the Lionville incident, which uh, respond, I mean, uh, Cumberland Valley Volunteer Fire Association, I uh, wrote the white paper over that. We had uh, Scott Gillen in Chicago, that incident there. And um, uh, there was an incident in Ohio where uh, Senator Tony Scott put in some legislation to get uh, DOT and Federal Highway involved. And that's what finally got these industries together, towing and responder safety to look at this as a whole. And they said, okay, what can we do? And that's where all of this started moving forward. Uh, we took my law and used it as a model law for the MUTCD, Manual for Uniform Traffic Control Devices, which is, um, you can't have a, a, a national and law for traffic safety. look who we have right safety. here. James, sorry to interrupt you, but we're Facebook okay. Live with the famous Todd Lee. So Todd, Hi. we're just Welcome. talking to James about him starting that, but I wanted to grab you for a moment. Todd, you're, you're the brains behind this operation. Do you want to uh, kind of talk about, about what's happening today here? So today we wanted to, to try to promote the, the new enhanced Pennsylvania move over law which goes into effect April 27th and what we're trying to show today is unity so trying to show you know it's everybody it's police fire EMS towing fire police transportation agencies everybody coming together everybody's a target on the roadway so that's the whole purpose of today is to show unity and also that we all want to go home to our family so we invited family members to attend this uh, so that we show that at the end of the day uh, we want to be alive. We want to go home uninjured, on hit. I like going home. You know, I like yeah, going home. Going, exactly. So that's we all do. So. Uh, yeah. So how many people do you think are here so far? I mean, you got there's a great, great crowd. It's a beautiful yeah. day. How many people did you have? So registered? we have 170 over 170 agencies registered. So, that's agencies, not people. So, that's just yeah, agencies. So yeah. So and some of them have brought multiple people, uh, and, and we're lucky to have a, a, a bunch of great groups. The end uh, distracted driving group, respondersafety.com, and. and you know, so we're educating people today. It's not just a, the matter of, because again, we have to educate our responders too. It's not just educating the public. We have to educate the responders. And I'm going to do my remarks a little bit later. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about respondersafety.com, but I'm also going to talk about, yeah, we could do the move over law, but move over law doesn't mean anything if we're not. Small, right. It's a small yeah. portion of what so we need to do to address we, we need to train. We need to wear high vis. We need to work together. We need to do all those things. So. Yeah. Well, Todd, I know we appreciate everything that you're doing. I mean, this is you know such an amazing event, and and we we appreciate you always being a partner with us and spreading the word. Well, definitely, and, we're we're all in this together, and 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 it's great that we have you know 
Ohio, we have North Carolina, we have you know people up here from Florida, we have Delaware, New Jersey. Jersey. Well, we don't yeah. got New Jersey. People, so. <laughs> so, but yeah, we're all in this together. We have Florida, we have Chicago, we have you know. So you know, this isn't just a Pennsylvania problem. It, no. it happens all over the country. Ten responders are already struck and killed. So. And I think what's really cool is the support from the towing industry. So I think that's something else is you know sometimes we forget about our towing family. Yep. We always focus on our fire, police, and EMS. But we would be lost without our towing family. Oh, definitely. And you've done such a great job of getting them involved and yeah, incorporating we, them. They have to understand, you know, and. and so many times, and even in the towing community, you hear them talk about we're not first responders or we're not emergency responders. But they are. And you absolutely are. And we have to end the infighting among our agencies. And I do want to say, when I started doing this, the very first industry, the very first people that said, we see this problem, it's our problem too. How can we help? It was the International Towing and Recovery Association. Mm -hmm. yeah. They they were the first person to say, hey, come up and talk to us. And I went and talked to them, and that, it was their support that, that got me together with Responder Safety Institute yeah. and everything. So, yes, they right from the beginning, they've been a, a pivotal role in getting this information out. So a big thank you to yeah. Recovery. Yeah. And so just recovery. before Todd leaves, uh, James, what does this event mean to you as a, as a survivor, as an advocate? What, you know, what Todd's doing here, what does this mean to you? It means I will never know how many lives this law saved. Mm -hmm. Never. And that's a good thing because, again, we're still, we're not, we don't even have records to keep track of yeah, how many people are hurt. And, and that's, and that's a injured. huge issue, you know. And that's another thing we're working on is getting the records to keep so that we have actual numbers mm -hmm. through DOT and transportation. But, again, I, I know it's, it's a huge problem. And, and if we can just reduce the, the amount of injuries, the amount of deaths, the amount of struck by, the, in, the intensity of the struck by. You know, so we're making this huge progress that we'll, we'll never know how, how successful we were, but it's still, you know, I, I see this. I see people knowing and caring, so I'm just thrilled. Well, we're so grateful for your efforts, for you guys. And, you know, thank you for everything that you're doing. And from Cumberland Valley, we love both of you so much. And anything that we can do for you, we're here for you. We've got your back. So. I appreciate it. Thank you.